Power BI has so many features that it's really difficult to get a full overview of everything that's possible. I thought it's time to make a video with my top 10 picks of features that can make a huge difference. So let's dive in. Let's get started with feature number one, which is a search box that you can add to a slicer. Let's go over here to a normal old slicer. Let's select it, go here to more options, click on search, that's it. Now for the next one, let's stay on the topic of filtering. Did you know that you can use wildcard characters when searching for something? Let me show you. Let's say we are looking for an employee where we know that this employee's first name is Emily, so we can just type in M, and we forgot what the last name was exactly, but we do know that in the last name we have something with a B, right? So what we could do is that we just type in M and then an asterisk sign, then we need to have a B. And you see, that gives me Emily Baker or Emily Bridge. Now, the next one that I'm gonna show you is helpful when you're working with matrix visuals or table visuals. Now here we have a big table with a lot of information and to get to the insights that I need, well sorting plays a crucial role. When I click on a certain column header, we are sorting the table by that field that you clicked on and whether it's in ascending or descending order, you see by that little arrow. So what I wanna do first is sort by the year and then by the month. And to achieve that, we can hold the shift key. First, without holding the shift key, I click here on year. Now the year is sorted in ascending order, then I want to also sort by the month. So I hold the shift key, click on month, and now we have a double sort. Feature number four. Now this one allows you to apply a sorting order by a field that is not used in the visual. Maybe I actually want to have the sorting order by the revenue of sunflower seeds, raw material. How can we achieve that? Well, I cannot just go here to three dots, sort axis, because, well, total revenue of sunflower seeds is not there. So I cannot sort by that field. So what you need to do is create a measure, total revenue, sunflower seeds, and add that to the tooltip. And then you can sort by that measure. And the next feature has to do with navigating through your report. Now, and instead of using these arrows here in the bottom left corner to go to the right and to the left, what you can also do is just right click on the arrows. And that gives you a nice little pop-up menu from where we can just choose the page that we want to navigate to. Let's now go to feature number six, which is using shortcuts when you are writing text formulas. The two that I really use all the time are, first of all, a multi-select of a certain instance. So Volt, Control, Shift, L, and that selects all of the instances. And then I can simply replace that with total revenue. Another one that I use a lot is control forward slash to comment something out or to uncomment something.